So we're going to keep going with Pirate Seas to kind of get you up to speed. I got Spike Weed. That, that's pretty much it. Got some more stuff coming through in the Zen Garden as well. People have been telling me that if I want to save these and all I need to do is just kind of not click on them and then they can't exactly force me to use them. Still got my repeater though and I got another iceberg layer. So I see the Snapdragon there. I would quite like to save that. It didn't occur to me that when I get to the final boss, they're probably only going to allow me to use plants that I got in this world. So I probably wouldn't have been able to use Iceberg Lettuce anyway. But Snapdragon I did get in this world, so that I would like to save for the boss. That'd be nice. I'm seeing barrels now. What's up with this? Uh, what are we thinking? I really like the setup that I had going with Snapdragon and Bonk Choy. I thought that was actually quite a solid setup. So we'll go Potato Mine, Iceberg Lettuce, Sunflower. We still got Seagulls, so I'm going to bring Colonel Pulp. This actually isn't bad. We can actually, we can work with this. If I go with the Colonel Pulse in the back, I mean, in theory, I wouldn't even need to do that. I could just kind of have one Colonel Pulp and just save it for the plant food so I can get rid of the Seagulls, but might not even be necessary because... The other stuff can hit it, so they're coming. I'm trying to just get myself into the habit of not placing the sunflowers at the back. It's still my brain still thinks it's really weird right now, but I will I will promise I will get used to it. So what's gonna be the deal with the barrels then? Is that gonna be like a whole new gimmick or I don't know. But we are slowly making our way through the second world. If you are enjoying the series, then make sure you hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Road to 300 k Probably start getting some Snapdragons down, actually. Multitask. You got this, Cam. Got a multitask. Almost good for Colonel Pulse. Yeah, one row of sunflower seems to be enough for this. Oh boy, here we go. Go on, butter, 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 butter. Go on. No. Come on. I know you got one in there. Oh, well, well the Snapdragon can deal with it. That works. Okay, so what's the deal with this guy? Other than that he's got butter on his face. I'm going to put Bonk Choi just in front of him just to kind of preempt whatever it is he's going to do. There's going to be something inside that barrel. Well, I'm seeing... I see a couple of pairs of eyes. Okay, so the barrel just stays there. Um, right, cool. Well, uh, no harm done, I guess. Ah, there it is. It flung out two imps. <laughs> One of them conveniently just landed in the water, so... That's a rip. I don't think that was supposed to be the plan. I, do you know what? Sometimes it's the small victories that we take. Let me get my last bonk choy, and then we're good. Now the setup's complete. This is actually quite solid. What else could I do with this? How could I add to this? Maybe just more bonk choys, I guess. Maybe that'd be the thing. Hmm. I will just... Yeah, let's use it on Colonel Pole. Why not? Go ahead. Yeah, do you know what? Let's just get another layer of bonk choys in. Why not? Why not? Do it for the shits and giggles. Next couple of episodes, I will do another... I'll do another Wolfie and Chill for these. I did kind of pitch the idea of doing them every week, and everyone seemed to be uh, really up for that. So I will try and do a Wolfie and Chill each week. So it'll be... Uh... <laughs> We spend most of the week doing these episodes where we make fuck all progress and then like one episode per week will actually knock out a decent chunk of it. Hey, I'm not trying to make all these videos half an hour, yeah? Pretty much as much as I can do there unless I want to start actually putting stuff on the bridge. Which I think is probably kind of unnecessary. Do you know what? Actually, just plant food that. What's this? Oh, there's a boss level coming up, isn't there? I think I've got a boss next. What's this one going to say? I wonder. Can't exactly read that. It says... Oh, it's a map. It's a treasure. It says no zombies. Maps don't lie. Oh, yeah, of course not. Not like half of it's written backwards. Seems like a pretty credible source. Hail fellow captain. Be advised that your sailing vessel is of insufficient size. Sincerely, Dr. Edgar Zomboss. Okay. What's that now? We're going to need to... Very good. Uh, is that supposed to be you're about to send a Sharkatronic or... Survive a massive attack in the pirate sea. Survive without any... Oh, I haven't got... Oh, what? I haven't got any lawnmowers. Okay, well, I knew there was going to be a shark in there somewhere. It's not a sharkatronic. The gargantua just hits me with a shark. I mean, I guess so. Uh, right, okay, so we're playing it this way. Do I really have the tools to be dealing with gargantua in this one, or? I'm not really sure. Let me put Snapdragon there, I guess. I'll hold off on Potato Mine for now. I'll wait until something comes in a lane that I can't quite reach. I mean, now Snapdragon can reach every lane, but I'm going to put that there. We'll put Spike Weeds across there. I don't know how Spike Weed... I don't know how good Spike Weed's supposed to be in this, but... Got pretty much every lane covered now, so... It's just, when are you going to be sending that damn Gargantua? That's going to be the question. We're fully Spike Weeded up. Spike Wed. Sucks that I don't have any lawnmowers. How am I supposed to get carried? Why the hell did I put that there? Uh, I guess we'll double up on that one. Oh, no, what? Oh, God, I'm playing like such a wanker. Why did I put that there? Why didn't I put it on the other side? I'm playing like such a nincompoop. This is just not symmetrical at all. The whole equilibrium of this is just non-existent. Oh, I actually can't put anything here. Really? Can I not? 
There's a limit? Oh, that sucks. I can put spike weeds there, though. Oh, I, I just can't put potato mine. Okay, fine. I thought I was a dickhead. So I can put spike weeds all along that bridge. I don't know why it didn't occur to me to just kind of do that. So let me actually get rid of this. Put another kernel pole there. Kernel pole there. Kernel pole there. We will plant food one of them. That'll do, I guess. Oh, here comes the gargantua. Um, I can't put potato mines there. <laughs> Got to plant food for days, though. I'm going to try using... What the hell was that? Let me do it again. Is that actually doing anything? I've wasted three plant foods on that, so I, it better be doing something. That's all I'm saying. Alright, go on, Snapdragon. Torch him. There you go. And that gargantua went bye-bye. You love to see it. I'm trying to figure out whether or not that's actually good. Let me do that. It kind of magnifies them to it. And then just kills the shit out of all of them. It just obviously wasn't the fix for gargantua. Oh, we've got two now. Great. Well, there was me thinking that they were only going to send one gargantua. So much for that theory. I ought to save these plant foods to use on Snapdragon. Me thinks. Yeah, I'm thinking that's probably the play. I'll put Johnny there. I can plant food him now. Okay, he survived. Do it again. Oh, you did that on purpose. Okay, so it's just this gargantua left now. I'll tell you what. Let me dig these spike weeds up and put potato mines there. Be Can't put one there. Fuck! Fine, I'll put it there. Spike weed. Spike weed. Johnny. <laughs> We're going pretty much all in on this. He's been stuck there the entire time. I mean, at least the shark's having fun. I noticed he ate one of the zombies. I need a bigger boat. Mate, you need a better shark. The spike weed actually is hitting him as well. I just noticed that. Why don't you give me another spike weed? Yeah, that's it. Give me another spike weed and I'll put him... Put that guy there. <laughs> and then... Uh, oh, wait, no, he's dead. <laughs> Most inconsequential gargantua in the history of PVZ. That was great. I love that. I'm the only one who thinks this sounds like something out of old school RuneScape. It does a little bit, doesn't it? You can't tell me this song doesn't have slight OSRS vibes to it. So Chocobo's going well. Since you asked. Yeah, playing that game online, that's a, that, that's a hell of a thing. Whoever it was who was put in charge of the item balancing in that game, it's... I don't want to go as far as to say that you're slightly satanic, but you are a sick individual. Let's do this spike weed plant food again. Dude, I swear down, they just die. Like, honestly, spike weed's plant food is kind of cracked. It's like anything in that lane just dies. And we got the... Spring bean? Yeah, spring bean. Bounce zombies back into nearby water. Oh, I'm going to have fun with that. <laughs> oh, you already know. You already know I'm going to have fun with that. Uh, but next time, next time, next time, gadgets. We're going to call it a day there. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have and you want to see more, make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new around here. And I'll see you next time.